Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. So today's video is going to be a nice and quick one where I'm going to be going over how to lower the resolution of a texture in your game. So this allows you to lower the resolution of it, which will also in turn lower the size that this will take up in memory and on the disk. So this can help for optimization reasons and keeping down the size of your packaged project. So again, this will be nice and quick. This texture I have here is an 8K texture, and this doesn't need to be 8K at all. But let's say you can't download this yourself. This just came with an external asset that you've got. So what we can do is let's open up the texture we want to change. And then there are two ways of doing this. You can see up, up here we have imported and displayed and max in game. So these are the different resolutions we have. And you can also see the resource size this is taking up. So it's taking up 43 megabytes, which for a texture is obviously quite a lot. So what we can do is we can change the LOD bias. Now, if you were to increase this from zero to one, it's going to halve the texture resolution. If you were to put it to two, it's going to halve that again. So you can see we have imported here. If I just change the LED bias to one, the display has now gone down to half. So it's from 8K to 4K. If I set it to two, it's going to half it again. So it's going to go from 8K down to 4K down to 2K. Up to three, four, five, you can see how easy this is to do. So we've now gone from 8K to 256 and the resource size is now 48 kilobytes. Obviously that's quite extreme. Let's say we want it to be 1K. So let's do it to LOD bias three. So now we've gone from an 8K down to a 1K, which is now only 700 kilobytes. So let's put this back to zero and do the other way. So you can see now we're back at 8K. The other way of doing this is we can search for max and then we have the maximum texture size here. So if I were to set this to 1K, so 1024, that's gonna change it and you can see now we're just playing 1024 by 1024. So this just allows you to be more specific with it and have more control over the maximum size which you want. And so those are the two different ways of doing it. And again, we can set this to 2K as well, so 2048, and that will then go to 2K. And so you can do it that way if you wanted to as well. So I'm gonna set that back to zero as well. I'm gonna save and close this, noticing that I have made no change to that as I've got rid of them all. Reason being, is obviously for this material, I have four different textures. So what I could do is I could open them all and change them individually. However, if you want to change a load of textures at once, which you will likely want to do, what you can do is select all of the textures you want, right click, go to asset actions, and then bulk edit via property matrix. This will then allow us to edit all of these textures at once, meaning we don't have to do them individually, which will save us a whole lot of time. So on the right, we can search for LOD bias and change that to three. And now again, you can see that that will go running down to 1K as we already figured out before. Or you can do it the other way and again, search for maximum resolution or maximum texture size, sorry, and change it there. Keep in mind though, these do stack. So if you were to set that, the maximum texture size to 1K and keep the LOD bias at three, it is then going to go down to 256 by 256. As you're doing an LOD bias on the 1K, not the original 8K. So I'm gonna leave the LED bias at three. We can save all of this by hitting Control Shift S, which will save all. And then you can see here, we have LED bias three set on all of these textures here. And if I were to open up one of these again, we can see that imported is 8K, displayed is 1K. And if I were to close this, you can see that this is still gonna be working on this material here doesn't look that different and that is obviously a good thing for us because it doesn't need to be 8k at all. Now obviously if you have control over the textures you are using you will want to just download and import the original resolution which you want instead of doing it in Unreal like this but obviously you don't always have that control it may have just come with an asset which you found off the marketplace in which case you can then change it like this. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we wanted to do what we've done is we've simply just changed the display resolution and max in-game resolution size for a texture in our game, which again will also help on resource size. So we've gone from an 8K to a 1K, which was 24 megabytes, now to 704 kilobytes. So that has saved us a lot of space, a lot of memory usage, and a lot of performance as well. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and see you in the next one.